村里的老人说，背得动鳖，儿子就长成了。小时候觉得我爸特高大，还担心自己什么时候才能背得动他。结果小学没毕业，个子就比爸高了。The son finally realized that no matter how hot the weather is, the water in the river is still very cold. So every time after crossing the river, Lauer will pick up firewood for his father to warm his legs. The father is away all year round, and the son is responsible for the farm work in the family. He was also injured by a donkey, but the son never told his father about this. The father felt a little distressed after hearing it. He told his son that he had given so much letter, but the letter I received was actually one which was sent by your mother on the day you was born. The young father was very happy when he heard the news. He bought the wine for everyone. He loves his son deeply, but the son has misunderstood since he was a child, thinking that his father does not like him. Father, it's not easy. 爸，该走了。你说什么？我说爸，该走了。老二听见了吗？他喊我爸。It was raining in the mountains and occasionally washed away the road, and they had to climb an extreme steep slope to deliver the letter on time. After the lower barked twice, someone put down a rope. With the help of the rope and the pit, the father and son climbed over the steep slope. The kid who put down the rope is named Chua, because the father once rode down the mountain here and was injured. So his grandfather asked Chua to come here to support him. The son learned that the child really wanted to study journalism, but because the way out of the mountain was too long, the family did not let him continue to study. But Chua did not give up and chose to take a correspondence university by self-taught. It was a long road after going over the steep slope. The son and the father were each thinking. About their own things and didn't talk. It was not until a folk song floated in the distance that the father asked if the son liked that Don nationality girl. This is true, but when the son thinks of his mother, he feels that he cannot marry her because he is afraid that the girl marry outside like her mother and will miss home all her life. At this time, several Don nationality girls sang folk songs and passed by the two. When his son was a child, he asked his mother a question. That is, why do people live in the mountains? His mother said that folks live in the mountains, just like feet in shoes. It is comfortable. Suddenly, his father seemed to understand something. The mother who lived in the mountains gave up everything and followed his father outside the mountain. But his father let her spend most of her life waiting. Thinking of this, his father felt very guilty. His father was away all year round, and the son had to take care of everything in the family. He blamed his father a lot for this reason, but he also understood that his father truly had family in heart. By tomorrow, the father and son should have arrived home. At that time, they have to exchange their roles. The son reminds his father of the things he should pay attention to when returns home. Don't always put on airs to the neighbors and encounter some village officials. His father was a little stunned. Over the years, he had always wanted to deliver the letter, 
but he ignored the complexity of living at home. It was late at night and the son fell asleep. The father looked at the sleeping son and the postal package. He seemed to be relieved and then he lay down beside the child. After returning home, the son only had a day off. Before going on the road again, the two parents got up early and began to prepare for him. When it was time to set off, this time the son did not delay. He neatly carried the parcel and walked towards the door. However, Lauer was still hesitating whether it should follow or not. <laughs> 